What's going on guys? Just got out here again. We're going to be talking today about discussing how to double stack your gas tanks. Um, I'm actually going to be doing this modification here for the dual engine ped. Basically, I'll pull you guys in here and show you. So what I would like to do, what I'm in the process of doing is modifying this to double stack my gas tanks this way. Um, the way Steve set this up when this was his scooter is he mounted one right up here in the front. I'm trying to give myself as much deck space as possible and even maybe possibly shortening the pet up a little bit, just a couple inches possibly. Not sure about that yet, might just leave it how it is, we'll see. Anyways, I want to double stack them here, but if you look here, if I double stack them how I have it set up currently, look how far that sticks off to the side, that's you know, quite a distance. So if I'm leaning to the right, I'm going to be scratching my tank. So I need to modify this little bracket, or I'm going to be, when I go down on here in a couple of days later this week, going to be having this bracket modified, brought over, cleaning this, basically cleaning everything up on the ped, you know, cleaning all the welds up. It's really cleaning it up, making it look nice. But ideally, moving this bracket over and giving myself a bit more deck space, I mean a bit more um, lean angle for what I'm riding. So we'll see how that turns out. Might even bring this bracket up a tad to give myself some more clearance. But anyways, that's what I got going right now. And before I forget, let me show you guys how I've modified this or rigged it up so far. So for those of you who want to do it yourself, you can. So right down the hardware store, I picked up, um, this is a six inch long bolt and it's um, a quarter inch thick. So I use this bolt right here, um, got online, ordered up the gas tank um, spacers. I ordered up, not, or 10 of them told this is the extra one here. But you can see what I've done here. I've double stacked them in between the two tanks, added the last one here, and now I have the extra bolt sticking out. For those of you that are running the single engine ped, you just take your um, gas tank bracket and your fender, mount it on right here, put your bolts through, tighten it down, and then go ahead and mount it up um, like you would where you'd stick your fender on the little slide tube and then the bracket would slide over here onto your axle itself with the spacers and bolt right up. So I'm going to go ahead and continue modifying this a bit, show you guys how it turns out and um, hopefully everything turns out nice. So here is the chaotic mess that's going on right now. I've been able to manage the gas tanks. If you guys see here what I've done, actually it's a mess over here on the bench. I've actually started a couple of different projects here, but trying to wrap up the first one. Anyways, what we've got here, here's let's see where they at. Here's the original spacers that were on here, and um, found a couple little shorter ones that have been modified. And those seem to work quite well, so I took put those on there. But now the um, bolt itself is too long, so I'll have to probably modify those to cut those down. But that should do just nicely in there should sit nice and flush and clean once I move that bracket over so that's how that turned out pretty good pretty nice clean the gas tanks up a little bit wipe them down of course I'll be running a couple gas tank covers to make everything nice and pretty so there's that but here's the the project I'm working on right now deciding on how I'm gonna cut this thinking about cutting down here at the base and then cleaning off all, all the welds Cutting that little piece off right there, and then moving the bracket over. Um, also modify or locking up the motor. I'm looking at how it's going to sit on here, you know, getting everything centered up, and I'm looking at also possibly shortening up the frame, you know, maybe a couple inches, maybe like three inches, just so I can still run a normal size deck or maybe have a custom deck made. But kind of playing around with a couple ideas, seeing how much deck space I have to work with. So I still have plenty of foot room on here and still make it comfortable to ride. And, you know, I ideally like to take this thing on some rides and be able to race around the turns and be able to handle this thing pretty good. I'm thinking with the longer, maybe not handling might be a little bit off. It might be kind of like a limo almost, or it's a little too long. It doesn't handle in the corners as nice. I don't know, maybe my crazy thinking, who knows. But still twin with the idea of shortening it up maybe three inches. Who knows? Anyways, that's where we're sitting at right now. I am exhausted. I'm about to call it a night, but there's where we're at. I wanted to share with you guys. Get this video up here in a few. Here's the madness. 
Um, it's coming though. It's coming along nice. So, there you guys go. Thanks for watching.